Good afternoon, David Pope here, and I'm responding to a recent Bionic Dance video, Not a Theist. And my basic response is, I am not an atheist. Sorry, Kate, I respect the hell out of you, but I am, at the end of the day, a theistic agnostic. So I am a theist. Why am I a theist? Well, basically it's philosophical. I'm starting from a place where I actually do believe in the existence of some kind of god. Which god? Don't know. That is why I'm agnostic. This, eh, that's a basic definition, of course. There's a whole lot more to it than that. Now, the immediate question one has to ask is, well, if I'm a theist, which god do I believe in? And that's the problem. That's the entire reason why I am agnostic, or at least that is the term that I use for myself. I don't know what god is out there, or even if a god exists. I am essentially basically inclined to believe that a god exists, but of course I have no proof, I have no evidence of the existence or non-existence of any god. Well, I see it, there are two types of agnostics, of course. There are atheist agnostics and theist agnostics. The basic difference being that initial question, do you believe in god or do you not? Now, when I first walked away from religion, it's when I first uh, came to the realization that I was no longer a Christian. How did I know that I was no longer a Christian? Oh, well, I was fairly certain that I stopped believing in the God Yahweh. And if I don't believe that Yahweh is God, then obviously, by extrapolation, I cannot believe that Jesus Christ can be the Son of Yahweh, therefore Jesus Christ cannot possibly be God. Therefore, I cannot possibly be a Christian! So then becomes the question, if I'm no longer a Christian, what does that mean? Am I atheist? Well, I pretty much ruled that one out right from the get-go. How can I possibly be atheist if I basically do believe in God? And this uh, gave me a little bit of a problem before I realized exactly what it is that an atheist believes, or does not believe as the case may be. Basically, you're looking at an appeal to evidence. An atheist does not believe in a god or any types of god, and, and Cade and the rest of your friends, you can correct me if I'm wrong in this line of thinking. It is because the theists do not present any convincing evidence that a god could possibly exist. You can think of it this way, those friends of mine that are actually Christians that may be watching this. You believe in Yahweh, essentially, or Jehovah. You believe that Jesus Christ is the son of Yahweh. Great! You have a First Amendment right to believe anything that you want. Go ahead and believe that. We're not going to stop you. We want proof. We want evidence. We want to know why you actually believe that God exists, why you actually believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. Show us your evidence. Believing in something is not evidence. Just because something is written in the Bible is not evidence. Now, what do I mean by all this? Well, take, for example, a good buddy of mine there at the university. Very devout Christian, and I respect the hell out of him. Somebody asked him why he was a Christian, why he believed in God. And his answer was, well... Every semester, I have money for college. What? That's your reason? That's your reason why you believe in God? Really? <laughs> Every semester, I have money for college. It's called a GI Bill. Thank you, taxpayers. There's a reason why I got it. And I'm not even going to start with the Bill O'Reilly thing. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Except for J Japan and Indonesia and Hurricane Katrina and all the rest of that. Never a miscommunication. You are going to have to come up with something far more substantial than that. I want you to watch my donkey proctology video. I bring this up. You have a fundamental right to believe anything that you want to. You have a fundamental right to come out into the public sector and express your opinions. Great, so does everybody else. See, the First Amendment gives you the right to express your beliefs, but what the First Amendment does not give you is the right to expect everybody else to automatically agree with you. And it does not protect you, as I have said before, from ridicule when you make ridiculous claims. 
you do not have that right. You cannot automatically assume that just because you're religious or claim to be religious that everybody's going to automatically respect you for it. Respect has to be earned. I have far more respect for an atheist person who is very clearly moral, and ethical, and educated, does everything that he possibly can to make society around him a better place to be. I have more, far more respect for an individual like that than somebody that claims to be religious and does absolutely nothing. I actually have far more respect for an atheist or agnostic person who does nothing, either positive or negative, than some right ring nut job who shoves his religion down people's throat and expects them to believe it, or tries to force his religious opinions into the public schools or into politics. That's the difference. So, while this may piss off Bionic Dance to no end, I am agnostic. There it is. I'm a theistic agnostic, if that answers that other question. I don't see any reason to back down from that. So, if you don't mind me blatantly plagiarizing Bionic Dance, hey, don't run on automatic. If you dig what I do, subscribe. And if you don't, thumb up this video or subscribe, I'll shoot Kate Scat.